Blessings, everyone. Hope everyone is doing well. Happy Friday. Looks like we made it. Yay! <laughs> so, <clears throat> I'm going to share my message that I received with everyone. I'm going to shuffle my card. So, you're bringing justice. You are doing what's right with integrity and fairness. You have people around you that are getting caught. They need to come clean. Their conscience is really eating at them. And Holy Spirit said that someone here is getting a wake-up call. The judgment card just is sticking out right now. You are heeding the call. There's God is rewriting your spiritual story. Blessings, us, Hama. Hi, Trinity. Happy Friday. Hey, Frey Frey. Thank you. Blessings. Hi, Trinity. So, I got woken up, like, in, um, some, how are you guys doing with the ascension symptoms? With this Mercury in retrograde eclipse season right now. Hi, Shamika. Blessings. You're doing good? Oh, not so good. Oh. oh, thank you, Trinity. Somebody here is blocked from returning to you. So the Holy Spirit said to post the ascension symptoms. So greetings, Randon. Some of you might be needing to hold space for the collective. Somebody here is really struggling with ascension symptoms, over emotional, the headaches. Um, you could feel like you're having a cold. Some of you may be even picking up what others in the collective are feeling. It's so important for us to stay, my frankincense does not want to stay on, to make sure that we are holding space with love and light. So some of you, those of you holding the higher frequency, it's important for you to hold love and light and to keep sending love and light to humanity. Um, so that we're holding the higher frequency. A lot of you resonate with being chosen ones. Some of you could even be choosing to be ascended masters in training. A lot of, a lot of downloads, yes. A lot of ear ringing, a lot of, um, a lot of intense, intense energy. So, the Holy Spirit showed me, and if you guys get triggered easily, I apologize in in advance. I saw sheeps being attacked. I don't I can't even describe what I see right now. It's so horrific. A lot of you have been attacked, whether it's spiritually, spiritually, mentally, ment spiritually, emotionally, mentally. A lot of clearing, a lot of purging. It's a lot of dense energy that we are needing to transmute. We don't absorb, we transmute. What has been happening is that there's been a shift in the consciousness. Those of you that hold the light are able to transmute it at a faster frequency. This solar eclipse is going to be bringing a wake-up call to everyone, not just those of us at that are able to hold that higher frequency, but especially those that have been playing the fence, those people that have been trying to take down God's chosen ones, trying to slaughter, I'm hearing slaughter the lambs, slaughter those that have been spreading the word of God. It's so important right now for us to keep holding the vibration, to keep holding the higher frequency and to not sit in that dark energy. Holy Spirit is showing me some of you sitting down the rabbit hole too long. So those of you that are not walking on God's path are going to get a major wake up call. This is not the time to be on the fence about God, about Jesus, about Holy Spirit. This is the time for us to spread the good news of the gospel, to help others Awaken and to come back into the light. All right, let's clear our space. So if you want to release anything that is heavy. Oh, this is stuck. Something's stuck here. All right, close your eyes. Take a deep inhale. Breathing in the breath of God. 
dropping in your heart space, calling forward our ascended masters, our spirit guides and angels. We are the violent flame, we are a pretty God desire. Holy Spirit, we ask that you walk before us as a teacher and a friend, teaching us to serve with the righteous and the wicked. We ask for the ring of fire for protection. Archangel Michael, please vacuum away negative thoughts, negative energy, clear our aura. Evoking in the holy angels, Archangel Raphael for healing. To the south, we evoke Archangel Michael shielding, clearing us, putting us in a pillar of God's light. Activating our I am presence. To the west, we evoke Archangel Gabriel, spiritual eyes, spiritual ears, and a spiritual heart. To the north, we evoke Archangel Uriel, commanding forth your divinity, your light, and your grace. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we rebuke anyone attempting to block, delay your mission, your purpose, your journey with God. We rebuke, forgive, send these demons to the pit with full authority of Jesus Christ. From below, we evoke Archangel Sanofin grounding us to Mother Earth. And above is Archangel Metatron bringing us the God consciousness, the Christ consciousness. We declare this our sacred space. We are protected on all six corners as above, as below. Holy Spirit, we pray for world leaders that they may hear the voice of God, soften their hearts. We pray for anyone who's being persecuted, anyone who needs a home, food, shelter, a car, anyone struggling with addictions, legal matters, anyone struggling with poor health, that you may lead us away from temptation and a deliverance from evil in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take a deep inhale, hands on your heart, coming heart-centered. Your angels, thank you for incarnating at this time to create heaven on earth. Take a deep inhale, conscious of breath, and welcome back. Oh, it just gave me the chills. So, you guys resonate with being blessed, chosen, and you are highly favored. You are here to stop whatever has been going on in your lineage, stopping the bloodline. This is a wake-up call. This eclipse for eight. There's an apology that you deserve, but you never received, and you forgave them anyway. And someone here will have an emotional crash for this solar eclipse. Holy Spirit is showing me that somebody is already, like, somebody is crying a lot, shaking a lot, a lot of headaches. Someone here is going through a lot of major ascension symptoms, Holy Spirit. So somebody here is dishonest with their self, with others. They are lost in limbo. They're going through a fake happiness right now. They're getting caught. Someone here needs to come clean. Because it's only after this eclipse on Monday, it's going to get worse for someone. Justice. Ooh, justice and temperance. Somebody needs to do what's right. Life lessons. There's consequences here. And somebody is going to have a lot of legal issues. Somebody here was very self-indulgent, an antagonist, very impatient. Hmm. Blessings. Ooh, and we have judgment. This person was unwilling to learn the karmic lesson. Somebody here didn't want to take responsibility, still blaming you. An earth sign, greedy, possessive, stubborn, ungrounded. Yeah, they were dishonest with you. They were dishonest with everyone. Everyone that they mentioned their name about to you, they were spreading lies. This person was in silent competition with you. Hmm. In a few weeks, this is 
Wow. Somebody's going to be forced to let go of control. See, somebody here is blindfolded to all the karma that is coming to them. To them. Holy Spirit. Hmm. You have a lot of possibilities coming in. Oopsies. Is this, it's going to be a new moon? It's going to be a new moon. So there is a cycle that is completing for new beginnings. You have clear vision. That is what is coming in. So for some of you, this was your family that was coming after you. Very disobedient. Someone here is going through a nasty divorce. And you have had the courage. You've had the test of faith. You are very persistent. Somebody here wants to come back. Hmm. To restore some kind of harmony. This is a king of an earth sign. You've released them. You've set your priorities straight. Oh my gosh. I'm sending you prayers. You forgave them. You were ready to move on. You had to let go and heal. You had to release yourself from this toxic devil. Somebody has negative karmic connections because of physical and emotional abuse. Somebody here has been carrying this either from another past lifetime or from childhood. And arsenic poisoning. I'm sending you prayers. This person is very weary. They collaborated with others. You still stayed very witted. You've had a breakthrough. You've had clarity. This person was over emotional and emotionally unavailable. They were manipulative with their emotions. And you have a new passionate offer coming in. You also have a family legacy. You have a family legacy of wealth coming in. You're being rewarded for your obedience. So you have an emperor here. Holy Spirit, why is emperor here? You've closed out a very important cycle and you still remain very loving, very nurturing. The end of it, you have closed out the end of a chapter with an emperor here who abused their power. For some of you, this could have been a father figure, a brother, a sibling, somebody who was supposed to be an emperor. You're closing out a very important cycle. So God is giving you an offer. You have to keep the faith. You have people around you who are relying on you while you still reveal. So you reveal God's truth to people. The more you stand in your truth, the more people will blur out their truth. Somebody here is very hostile for not speaking the truth. And you have a new perspective. So you could have been praying to God to show you the truth. And these people are blurting stuff out that they would never, ever want to blurt out. Anything else? Yeah, this person is very misaligned in values. You are the high priestess energy, so you see past the veil. Hmm. This person undervalued you. And you were overcame the obstacles by moving forward. You are emotionally fulfilled. 
this person is now left out in the cold, but I feel like they were wanting you out in the cold. You had the strength to persevere. People were shocked with your strength. Again, divorce comes through. So if you went through a divorce or you're going through a divorce, you have persevered because people weren't, they weren't expecting you to stand up for yourself. Somebody thought, Holy Spirit showing me a doormat that people could just trample all over you and the door would keep revolving. But you had the strength to persevere through whatever you're going through right now. I'm sending you so much love and light. Keep rebuking. If you're in pain, keep rebuking it. Keep calling in on Lord Jesus for healing. Your status is you're rewarding for your labor. You are connecting to nature. Somebody here is running out of ideas, a pessimist. As of somebody right now, because we're in eclipse season, somebody is really struggling with this eclipse energy. They're struggling with their emotions. Holy Spirit is saying, your ascension symptoms are severe. Try to keep taking salt baths. Try to keep um, spending time in nature, anointing yourself. Cutting cords, calling back your power. Some of you might need a deliverance. That would help. Allow the light to bring you strength, confidence, and abundance. Gentle healing codes. So there's codes being downloaded right now. Blessings. People, didn't, they can't transform their shadow right now. You could be seeing 33. Yes. This is for your highest good. You're moving. You're saying yes to things that are raising your vibration. So you're the high priestess. You're restoring your feminine energy. You are somebody that sees past the veil. Allow yourself to receive. You're learning self-love by opening up your heart and setting very strong boundaries. You're connecting to earth. Mother Gaia needs you to ground your light. So grounding in the light, when God is bringing in those downloads, you need to bring it down and ground it to Mother Earth. And it is safe for you to say no. New beginnings. You're moving towards a new beginning. You have a twin soul sound healing. A lot of you could be seeing a lot of dolphins. The dolphin consciousness, you're in a higher consciousness with God. Because you're forgiving and moving. You're forgiving. You're cutting people out of your life, but you're forgiving them a lot faster. How do you clean your house? Um, I cleaned with salt. I anointed my house doing salt baths, um, frankincense, ancient light codes, increasing your worth. You have to keep your energy. Wow. For the eighth, that's an eight. You have to keep your light and your frequency at the highest vibration. Divine healing is available. Somebody here didn't heal though. Praying for the earthquake victims. Thank you, Annette. Yes. Your soul family, you are attracting your soul family, awakening other soul contracts. So when you awaken and you're at your highest frequency, you're going to attract people that are at that same frequency as you.
So this is, it's called Plant Guru. It's Monks Make It. Um, frankincense stick. Any frankincense that you can burn is at a higher frequency. Release emotions connected to lower vibrations. So this eclipse energy comes in very dense, very heavy. You are here to transmute it. You're not here to absorb it. Some of you are absorbing the lower frequencies, the lower vibrations. That's why some of you are really struggling with headaches right now. It's on Amazon, yes. So divine feminine a cycle rebirth. So this eclipse is also bringing in a new moon in, is it in Aries? Your divine feminine energy, you're closing out a very important cycle to allow for a rebirth. Karmic contracts. God is closing out. God is eclipsing out karmic contracts. People that have been harnessing your energy, God is removing them so that your true soul family can come in. Activating cells, advanced missions. You are a healer. Your mission is to heal yourself first so that you can heal others. Some of you may want to use higher vibrational oils. So frankincense, keep, keep anointing yourself. Keep putting on the anointing oil. Light codes, 12 dimensional. You're getting a new perspective. Wow. Anchoring unconditional love, ascension. You're, you guys are going through major ascension symptoms right now. You possess light codes, Pleiadian, starseed. Cosmic portals of infinite wisdom. This solar eclipse is bringing in. And you have people that are not in infinite love. They're not in good relationships. They are not receiving light codes. They are not advancing. They're not clearing. They are walking out. They didn't master all these lessons that they were supposed to learn right now. That's why you have people around you really struggling, really drowning in this. So you have to keep your vibration high. So you have these people that have made contracts with the devil. Breaking bread with the devil right now. It's having tea with the devil. Wow, the moon was behind it. Keeping things hidden. This is somebody that lied on you. Isn't walking in their truth. Delayed their spiritual journey because they didn't have strong boundaries. They are under heavy judgment. This eclipse is going to keep people stuck that are not in the light. You are the shining star. This God is rewriting your contract, your soul contract, because you've healed. So you have to continue to set very strong and healthy boundaries. Because you have Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall, Humpty Dumpty had a big fall. This person thought that they were that they had outsmarted you, that they were clever with their words. This person tried to keep something from you. See how this person is keeping their book very close to their heart. See, during eclipse season, things come to the light, everything gets surfaced. This is somebody who betrayed you, is now getting stabbed ten times over. This is somebody who kept you out in the cold and had others betray you as well. They tried to keep things out of your reach so that you wouldn't fulfill your mission and your purpose. They gave you the illusion that things were out of your reach, that you were separated from God that you missed opportunities when your opportunities are right here. So you have a new offer that is coming in. 
The lovers here in reverse. <clears throat> Two's companies, three's a crown. This person has always been in a third party situation in a karmic contract. Always lying, always choosing lust over love. This person has a God complex. Somebody here is with somebody like reptilian energy. Whatever they tried to send to you has been returned to them. God has returned it. You still remain very loving and very nurturing. Their rejection was actually God's protection. God removed you from places if you allowed God to do it. There was a lot of lessons that you needed to learn. This person comes in very unbalanced, unhealed. And you have an offer coming in. Hi, Shamika. Yeah. God is rewriting your soul contract. There's two. Wow, there's three contracts here. Do you see how these three contracts are being rewritten? So this solar eclipse is... God is eclipsing people out of your life, but actually rewriting karmic contracts. If you have fulfilled your own karmic contract and you paid off karmic debt, then God is elevating you. These people are going to be left behind losing it all. Losing their money, their family. Hearing that, didn't we almost have it all? Whoever is doing mm, candle magic on you right now, see how their candle is out? Death is here. You have a Jezebel energy. Whoever has been doing all these potions, all these manipulations on you. Wow. So for some of you, it's it's a karmic couple with a Jezebel, a coven, people working against you. They brought their karmics to work against you. There's all these contracts here. So for some of you, this was from a past lifetime. Trying to do moon magic, spells. Trying to keep love away from you. Trying to keep you brokenhearted. These are people who have fallen from God's grace out of balance. They're very burdened right now for what's coming towards them. These people are losing their blessings. This is a karmic female who worked with others to try to keep you in the dark. Here's another coven. So for some of you, this could be like a mom, somebody who thought they were an empress, but fake empress. For some of you, this could be a mentor, a teacher. You have a king of wands here who was living a double life. Trying to hide your money, trying to hide all this. But just mocking you, mocking God with all this magic and manipulation. So 
the Wheel of Fortune's here. Karma is in your favor. You're on top. And these people, for this eclipse, I wouldn't be anywhere near these people right now. If you're still, God is asking us to remove ourselves from karmic situations. Because otherwise you open yourself up to receive the same karma. Jezebel and monitoring spirits. Burn off fear from your aura. Somebody here is being blocked from returning to you. Someone could be a water sign. This could be someone's sister. Clear your throat chakra. He leads me beside quiet waters. Keep cleansing out your aura. You're being actively abused. I'm sending much love and light. The violet flame burned off karma. I see why they are blocked. Unraveled, destroyed their lives. Prayer warriors. So you guys just, if you're struggling to hold space for humanity, just pray one little prayer. Because God is going to, some of you are responsible for a certain number of the collective to hold the light and to hold love for them. And my third eye and my crown chakra are tingling right now. So that is for somebody. You are the divine feminine. Guard your heart. They are not safe. So you have somebody who is pulling on your heartstrings right now. God trained you for this. And you're passing the test. So August, September, October. Someone here could be a fire sign. Someone's name could be Jamie. What else will I sprout? You release them. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Are you rapture ready? Ask God to purify your heart. Stars will fall. They are not your friends. Ancestral healing, ancestral wisdom from your ancestors to heal. Their demons want to be, they don't want to be exposed. Zero trust, they can't trust their environment. It's so dark without your light. Someone keeps trying to pull on your light because it's so dark. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. Keep in prayer right now. Psalm 23, keep in prayer. Fire, Archangel Michael is with you. Anything else I spoke? Out of this stuff. So Aries, I'm blocked from returning to you. The violet flame cleans karma and you keep seeing 222. You have people that are doing eclipse rituals, rites, magic on you. Keep turning to Lord Jesus to refresh your soul. This is a married couple and there is a witness. He makes me lie down in green pastures. Someone's name could be William. So for some of you feeling very lethargic, tired, exhausted, it's because somebody here is doing these ritual spells. 24 7. So we have to stay ahead of them in prayer. This is happening in real time right now. This is someone's story. Lord Jesus, we ask that you bring truth to all lies. Holy Spirit, we ask that you bring light and healing, light to all darkness. In Jesus' name, what do we need to know? Somebody here is really struggling with their addictions. And God said, I will be with you. They are blocked from divine guidance. So their third eye and their crown chakra are blocked. Our 
Archangel Michael works behind the scenes to shower me with truth, grace, prosperity, love, and health. You are surrounded by earth angels. God loves righteousness, hates the wickedness. This weekend, this weekend, I would love for you guys, if you can fast, if you can pray, because this weekend, someone's going to really try really hard to do their little ritual thing, whatever they do. Purge toxic patterns. Use automatic writing. Write God a letter and ask God to reveal who you can trust, foe or friend. A hacker is going to get arrested. Believe the Lord's truth for you. So if you don't know the Lord's truth, Lord Jesus, please bring truth to all lies. Keep asking Lord Jesus to reveal the truth. Become a vessel of love. They, war, they will wage war against the Lamb, but the Lamb will triumph over the Lord of Lords. Revelation 18, 12. Keep asking Lord Jesus. You were supposed to be their scapegoat. They have a boss. You have a boss energy and they don't. These people are trying to abuse you mentally, spiritually, emotionally. Someone chose lust over love, a sag. You keep seeing a rainbow. Fast this weekend, yes. If you guys can fast, please fast. Were you guys on here when I shared or was that on my I Am Life Coaching? So Holy Spirit, I read the book of... Esther, when Esther revealed, had to go to the king, she asked them to pray for her and she fasted for three days. So the Holy Spirit asked me to come on here. I can't remember if it was this channel or my I Am Life Coaching, that we need to fast for three days. If you can't fast the three days, if you can fast on Monday on the eclipse. Someone here wears glasses. Be a leader and not a follower. And this summer, people are going to have legal issues. Someone's nephew here is involved. Someone's name is Mia. Pray, meditate, and love. Thank you, Lisa. You are healing and helping people with your energy, with your prayers. They were meant to take the world stage, but they didn't. You could be seeing 222. I just saw a video on fasting this morning. So there was the CERN tried to go up four years ago. Was that four, four, four? So that was, what is that? 2020. They're trying to do it again. So we need to stay in prayer and fasting and stay ahead of them. Wow, these cards look beat up. Toledo. Your ancestors are protecting you. Whistleblower. I escaped and said 222. These cards just dumped out. Somebody keep doing your shadow work. These are too many. Archangel Metatron is helping you here with your Akashic. Someone will fall severely for the solar eclipse. They attempted to mock and isolate you. An Aquarius. I had to use my assistant as a rebound. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Acknowledge your journey and the role you play. Stay awake. Watch out that no one deceives you. Evolution of consciousness. You are here to elevate. You're here to elevate yourself and you're here to elevate the collective, the collective overall consciousness. Someone's name could be Todd. Your archangels are protecting you. They will get revealed. There's a district attorney involved here. 
Shocking Secret Inheritance. Oh my goodness. Lucifer Lineage. Stay in Reverence. False Light. Sending Confusion and Illusions. The false light has been trying to send collective confusion and illusions that you are separated from God. Glitches in the matrix, full moon release what no longer serves you. I know it's a new moon, but still focus on releasing releasing what no longer serves you. Someone's name is Catherine, Michael. Your grandmother is still protecting you. Backfired, they are in the hospital. So whatever they're doing this weekend it's going to end them up in the hospital. Everything, whatever rite, whatever ritual, whatever they do this weekend up until Monday, it will backfire and they will be in the hospital. Earth angel star seeds, light workers, anchor in the light. You are a chosen one. Someone's name could be Chris. Your ancestors are protecting you. Four, four, four. Someone's name is Pamela. Chris came up again. Sagittarius. Justice will be served. So for this full eclipse, solar eclipse, I'm so sorry. Justice will be served. Someone here is a Virgo. Three, three, three. Imposter syndrome. All your pain comes to the surface to deal with it. You are here to heal core wounds and to purge your pain. You're going through a major awakening phase. She was a sheep in wolf's clothing, but no one believed, so God sent you. And you need to embrace your fears. Therefore, one day her plagues with will overtake her. Death, mourning, famine, consumed by fire. Mighty is the Lord God who judges her, Revelations 18.8. There is no competition, and people have been competing with you. This solar eclipse is a warning for those not in their light to take heed. And to take heed means to be prepared. So Holy Spirit told me to make sure that you guys are prepared. Have The false light is going to do some kind of trickery as they always do. So make sure that you have a little bit of extra food, a little bit of extra water, have a little money. Um, the Holy Spirit said when I meditated this morning that they are going to send confusion, chaos. What else, Holy Spirit? I had to write it down. Mm, disappointed. They're going to be sending disruptions and chaos. Take heed. Shakes in the grid line is what the Holy Spirit gave me this morning of what was coming in for the eclipse. Disruptions. They're trying to send mass fear and hysteria for the collective. So people, you know what they're going to do. They're going to run to the grocery store. They're going to chaos. It's creating chaos and disruption. So we just need to take heed and be prepared is what the Holy Spirit gave me. We can't be in fear because fear, we're feeding into it. When you, they see, Someone thought it was funny to catfish and test your intuition. Blocks are being removed. Their energy is too unstable. It's important to set healthy boundaries. Star seeds, you are sent all over the earth on a mission to help raise the vibration of the planet by raising the human consciousness, having psychic and healing gifts. Some of you, all you have to do is pray. Others of you, you go out and your energy is very healing. It's very soothing for others. That's why we shield our energy. 
we don't absorb, we transmute it and we get, we we give it back to God. We return it to God and God clears it out. You're being guided to remember who you are. You are your soul, not your body. You are a spiritual being here to learn a human experience. Sorry for the typo. You've been feeling catfishing. <clears throat> I they're they're trying. They're coming after you because you speak God's truth. Archangel Raphael, you are a healer. Call upon Archangel Raphael for healing and addiction. So if you guys are struggling with addictions, you're struggling with poor health, please keep calling in Archangel Raphael. Please keep calling in Lord Jesus. Keep rebuking it. Ask Lord Jesus to bring truth to all lies. They are experiencing heavy karma. They were warned over and over again to stop. So we set the intention, what is going to be coming in for this eclipse? They're going to be receiving heavy karma. They were warned to stop. God will vindicate you. He will vindicate you in broad daylight, publicly defend your just cause. So you don't need to worry about them. Worry is worship to the devil. We surrender all to God. God, please break my will, align my will to your will. Your soul contract. Contracts and agreements are made with another before incarnating. Soulmate, karmic, twin flame, soul ties, and a bump. You were created for greatness. Share love and light. Some of you just share love and light. Bringing out your inner child. I think Chiron is coming in retrograde so please pay attention to your inner child why they don't have karmas and towers yes. somebody here really needs to drink water I'm so dehydrated you small karmics oh They went the wrong journey and their abundance is reverse. So this solar eclipse, they're going to be losing. And every time they come after you, they'll lose money. Stuck in Karmicville. Stuck in Erskine. Stuck and didn't learn the lesson. They knew that you were the one, that you are the gift. And now they're haunted because they're caught. Somebody didn't want to believe in your gifts. They didn't want to believe you're chosen. You don't have to prove it to them. You just have to surrender. May God have mercy on the karma. Yes, I agree. I agree. Outdated. They are stuck in the past treading water they were okay feeding you to the wolves the other woman prefers playing in the streets someone here will get fired gifts are being removed they are in spiritual prison this imposter they're going to continue to make poor investments so they're going to be abused. Their money, somebody is stealing their money behind the scenes. And your wishes are coming true. Past life Egyptian bloodline. Some of you are healing more than one bloodline. You can always spread. Find the paper down here. Thank you. So make a decision about your heart's true desires. Right now, this eclipse energy is making you very sensitive to other people's energies. So God might be isolating you for you to make sure that you're clearing your energy. You heal with kind words. You're very empathic and you have kind words. Some of you are teachers. You inspire young people. So some of you could work with children. And you guys are healers. You have a spiritual gift of healing and a desire to share it with others. A 
is laughing. Okay, anything else, Holy Spirit? These people are holding back blind sight, QRST. Shapeshifter is constantly attempting to attack divine beings. Holy Spirit. Someone gets a wake-up call for this eclipse. We must teach our children that happiness doesn't come from others. Someone's, we, we got to pray for these people. You guys are in empress mode. FBI will seize paper records, cell phone, and bank statements. Powerful divine feminine energy. Someone here could be Irish. This could be your aunt. Living lesson. You are the walking karma for this fallen angel. You are ending toxic contracts. So when I was in meditation, God is eclipsing outdated, expired contracts out of your life. You're going to get a new house. Somebody here is stuck in escapism, not taking accountability. And God returns all to sunder. You outwitted them and outranked them. Memory loss. People have been trying to keep you confused. You guys are healers, huh? How many times did healer come up? It's probably the karmics making their crazy comments. Healing ancestral trauma. Somebody here is a survivor. I've been praying for that, for a miracle for kids to be released. Is Somebody here is the dark spiritualist. See and hear me with your heart. Using multiple practitioners. These people kept hiring them. Earth angel, you are being prepared for your kingdom spouse. Yes, they will. Yeah. They just, I can't even, I just pray. I'm just praying. Just, just keep praying. All right. Let's get ready to close up. Someone here just doesn't know when to stop. They can't cope. You have people that are unable to cope with this, this eclipse that's coming. They can't cope with this wake-up call, a Sagittarius. Or you could be a Sagittarius. Anything else, please? Please. Bleeding their childhood trauma onto you. Your energy is very magnetizing, so protect your energy. You are a protector of women, Hathor. Someone here needs embryo healing. Womb trauma. Gemini. You have a sacred purpose. Wanting you out in the cold. Capricorn. Wants to resurface. Initials C, D, E, J, K, L, Q, R, S, X, Y, Z. They are in denial. Still numbing themselves. Being intimidated by their life's purpose. The pain of not fitting and feeling different. They're still numbing themselves. Libra. Somebody could hear, need a past life regression, or this is a past lifetime. This scandal will be exposed within 30 days. Oh, just, 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 mm -mm. Where's our initials? Let me get my cards. There's so many decks right now that I didn't use. I did want to use this deck. Oh, maybe I'll use it for Monday. Oh, 
Lord Jesus, please bring truth to all eyes. So you have FB Pisces. You have a K Cancer. Someone has an L in their name. You have a Gemini, T U N N U. You have an I, Libra, an Aquarius, an Aries, and of course your X. Anything else, Holy Spirit? So someone here could be in Michigan. Someone could be in Florida. Someone could be JJ. And here's KC. Someone's name could be Ken. This could be someone's best friend or a twin flame. Railroad, or, or someone tried to railroad you. So, all right, let's close out. Thank you. Holy Spirit guidance for the divine feminine. I am closest to the brokenhearted, the Lord's flock. Guidance for the Divine Mask and Holy Spirit. Forgive the demons and the ones who torment you. All right, guys, that's all I have. I hope everyone has a blessed weekend. Please stay in prayer. Please meditate. If it resonates, please fast. If you can't fast all weekend, fast on Monday. Keep in prayer. Keep praying for one another. And I'm sending you guys so much love. Um, this has been a collective reading. If you want to book a personal reading, you can go to IamLifeCoaching.com. You can book a deliverance or some coaching. All right. I send you guys so much love. My heart to yours. Bye.